With Linux, you can customize your distribution as much as you want, especially Arch Linux. However, if you do not want to fiddle around much and want a nice out-of-the-box experience, there are some good-looking Arch-based Linux distributions. This is Ankush from Mitzforce and here I am going to highlight some of the most beautiful Arch-based Linux distributions that you can try. First up is Archcraft. Archcraft is one of my recent favorites that features Openbox or BSPWM window manager, by default in its free edition. If you always wanted an Arch-based distribution that offers a unique look, as if you customized it yourself, Archcraft is a distro to pick. I tried it for more than two months as my daily driver over Ubuntu and it was a nice experience. However, I would suggest you to try Archcraft only if you have a bit of Linux experience. It's not entirely for someone who just switched away from Windows. In here, you get a nice looking polybar and a pretty theme to go with. The window managers support keyboard shortcuts and works decently with multi-monitor setups as well. You get several icon packs and a good collection of wallpapers. Furthermore, there are various preset styles which you can choose to change the look or feel of the entire desktop, including the polybar. Of course, if you know what you're doing, you can customize the look further. The free edition of Archcraft offers more than enough for most users, and if you like it enough, you can opt for its premium edition to get more window managers and theme options for your desktop. That's time to thank our sponsor, Warp. Warp is a modern Rust-based terminal app with built-in AI to help you boost productivity as a dev or DevOps. With a modern IDE-like user experience, it offers plenty of customization and collaboration abilities. It also supports integration with your favorite code editors like VS Code. Link to try Warp is in the description. Second one is Garuda Linux. Garuda Linux is one of the coolest looking Arch-based Linux distribution. While it features KDE Plasma as the default, it is heavily customized in terms of theming and the icon pack. It will not be your vanilla KDE Plasma experience, so if you like something like that, Garuda Linux is your perfect pick. Even the terminal comes baked in with a blurry look that fits well with the rest of the desktop. You can also opt to download its GNOME, Sway, Cinnamon or XFC editions. All of them feature some form of visual tweaks that set it apart from the vanilla experience. As an icing to the cake, you get a bunch of GUI tools, a separate gaming edition ISO, and built-in chaotic AUR support enabled to give you access to more packages without any hassle. Overall, a fantastic choice with a cool look and a cool community as well. The third one is Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS aims to provide a lightweight arch experience without compromising on the look or feel. The installation is easy and gives you a lot of control. You can even choose the bootloader of your choice or not have it at all during installation. While you can choose to install any window manager or desktop environment during its online installation mode, the default offline mode is KDE Plasma. Of course, KDE Plasma lets you tweak what you see by adding widgets, changing colors, picking a different icon pack or a global theme and more. I went with KDE Plasma because I have been using GNOME most of the time. So it was a refreshing change and a good looking one too. I think this is my next daily driver. The purplish accent along with all the helpful tools Endeavor OS comes with makes the user experience worth it. Not to forget, Endeavor OS sets itself apart with a wonderful community where you can easily get help for any issues. Overall, the UI may not be wildly different than what KDE Plasma offers by default, but it is a solid option to consider. The fourth one is Cache OS. Cache OS is an interesting Arch-based distro which heavily focuses on the performance side of things. It features optimized packages that would ensure that you get the fastest experience possible. By default, you get the KDE Plasma desktop, which is what they promoted for their desktop edition with the offline installation mode. But you can take your pick at the time of installation with the online mode. The desktop looks good enough and you can go with customizing your KDE Plasma experience as much as you want. You can totally try it to use it to game to see if the performance benefits reflects there. I haven't tried that, but you can. The final and the fifth one is Black Arch Linux. 
This is probably the coolest of the bunch, maybe just because I'm biased towards it, but it is not for everyone. So Black Arch Linux is a distribution aimed for cybersecurity enthusiasts and penetration testers. It is not tailored for new users because the user experience is not exactly GUI focused and hence that makes it a perfect look for a hacker system. Other than its dark theme, hacker themed wallpapers, you will find a huge collection of tools in its repository. You can easily install them as per your testing needs. If you already have vanilla Arch Linux, you can easily convert it to Black Arch Linux by enabling Black Arch repository in it. I'm sure there can be a couple more options like Manjaro, which most of you would be knowing. However, the ones I highlight here are the ones we tested. Most of the options can be your daily driver. Feel free to experiment with them. Which Arch based Linux distribution do you find the most beautiful? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.